Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't uploaded a video in, I think it's been about two weeks or just over two weeks. So I want to explain everything that's been happening. A lot of new things have been happening in my life. So I will explain that in another video. I'll do like a vlog update type of video. So yeah, today's look is a spring look. I posted up on Snapchat, asked you guys um, who do follow me on Snapchat um, what video you'd like to see and a lot of you guys requested a spring makeup tutorial so this is my spring look here if you guys would like to learn how to recreate it then Karen watching and also if you're not following me on snapchat my name is makeup with Jar, just like my youtube and instagram go follow me um I do update nearly every day so yeah let's get straight into the tutorial so I've already done my brows and eye base uh, now I'm just starting off by using this pencil eyeliner from Essence. It's just a matte white shade and I'm lining underneath my brow. This is totally optional. You only need to do this if you want that super bright underbrow highlight. Um, if not, you can just use a shimmery eyeshadow, which is a little bit more natural. Uh, so yeah, after I applied that, I'm just going to blend that out using a synthetic brush. Um, just to make sure I blend those edges. So I'm using this eyeshadow called Buttery from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a nice skin tone shade, so I just applied that all over the eyelid. Then I'm going in with this matte white eyeshadow from Super Beauty to set that white eye pencil that we applied earlier. Using my Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighting palette, I'm using both of the lighter shades to highlight under my brow bone. So now I'm going to use these two matte browns from my Morphe 35N palette and we're going to blend that into the inner and outer corner of my eyes leaving a gap in the center of my eyelid. And now I'm just going in with this Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow. It's a very light gold champagne color. It's super pretty. So we're just going to apply that to the center of the eyelid. Now I did start off by using a brush, but then I ended up using my finger to apply it. I just found it a little bit more pigmented with my finger. And so after I applied that, I went in with lashes and I'm using this pair from Elure, I think you pronounce it, something French. So now I'm just applying a bit of a brown eyeshadow, just any brown, just to help blend in those lashes. To make the lashes darker, I always like to coat them with a little bit of mascara. So now in the waterline, I'm using this NYX Wonder Pencil in Light, which is going to help brighten up the eyes. I always like using this color rather than a pure white, just for myself. And then I'm just going to apply a bit of brown eyeshadow to my bottom lash line. Okay, so staying on the face, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Spray to hydrate and to refresh my skin. And for primer, I'm using the Cover Fix Illuminating Primer, which I've been loving lately. Um, it's just amazing if you kind of want that like really glowy, dewy type of look without being like overly shiny or like oily. Um, so I just did that, and for foundation, I was going to use both of these, but in the end, I only used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation because I really like the glowy finish that it had, and the coverage was a really nice medium coverage. So. I didn't use the Studio Fix. Also, I just wanted to say, if you do use a flat top kabuki brush, it really helps you to get more coverage from your foundation, if you guys are wondering. Now I'm gonna use my favorite concealer, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm applying that under my eyes and down the T-zone. I also like to use both a sponge and my fingers to dab it in. To set that concealer, I'm using Well Rested by Bare Minerals. It's actually a powder uh, concealer, but it's honestly amazing. I love this stuff. I'm nearly out and I haven't even had it for that long. Um, so I just use that to set my concealer and it has like reflective pearls in it, so it's super brightening. 
Also, I just wanted to quickly say all the brushes I use in this tutorial, I will leave them listed down in the description bar. To bring warmth back to my skin, I love using my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in tan. And I just apply this around the frame of my face and my cheeks and I just use a big fluffy brush. So today I did want more of a warm contour so I used the Benefit Hula Bronzer which I really like as my contour. I also really like the um, Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm that makes a really good contour shade as well. So now I'm just going back in with that Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder and I'm just applying this underneath my contour just, uh, just to chisel out my contour a bit because I like it quite strong and very defined. Now before I highlight I gave my face a quick spritz of the MAC Fix Plus Spray. If you do this first it makes your highlight more intense because your face is kind of like a little bit damp or like a little bit sticky from the spray. So for highlight I went in with Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. I've literally hit pan on this stuff and I applied this to the top of my cheekbones, tip of the nose and a little on my cupid's bow. So since we're doing a spring look I decided to apply a bit of blush. You guys know I really use blush. I'm definitely more of a bronze girl. Um, but I think blush really suited this look, so I used the MAC blush in Malba and the Milani Baked blush in Luminoso. So now I'm just going to go back in and tidy up the eyes, and then I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with mascara, and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, which is my favourite. Now I didn't have a lip liner to match the lipstick I'll be wearing because it's not really a colour I usually wear. Um, so I just used this nude brown lip liner by Savvy, it's called Chestnut, just to give my lips a little bit of definition. For lipstick I'm using this new shade from Offra Cosmetics called Coco's Island. I actually didn't think I would suit this colour but after I applied it I really really liked it which is unusual because I usually don't wear these types of colours. Um, but I just used that today. It's a really nice spring shade. They also have another one called Can Can, which is more of like a fusion pink. Super bright as well. Um, and also if you guys aren't familiar, these are liquid to matte lipsticks, but they have more of a velvet finish, so they're so much more comfortable and non-drying, which is really good. So this is my completed spring inspired look. If you guys enjoyed this fresh neutral look, give it a thumbs up. And of course, leave you guys comments down below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. More videos are on the way, so just hang in there. Um, I promise new videos will be out soon. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.